Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to movement boost in Call of Duty. Uh, you could do this in Modern Warfare 2, but it is so much better in this game, and it was something that was in Modern Warfare 2019 and the first Warzone that really made the game uh, the speed really fast, right? Uh, so pretty much what you want to do is you want to have your fastest movement or fastest moving weapon, preferably a knife, but even if you have like a pistol, right? Or if you have a submachine gun and you're playing Warzone, right? Submachine gun and an AR. Uh, you want to have your slowest gun out and you want to slide cancel and as soon as you slide cancel with your fastest moving weapon then you immediately switch to your other weapon all right so this is just me sliding right and i'm at the max speed i can be because i have my fastest weapon out so if i want to use let's just say an assault rifle and shoot far away i can get the pistol out slide and then immediately get my assault rifle out and aim over there all right so it's like this is how it looks if i'm just like doing it in like without even thinking pistol out gun looks a little bit like that all right and sometimes you can kind of get away with the animation so if you're uh in the middle of switching weapons and you do slide you actually still get more of a boost than if you had your gun out the whole time and then you slide right so let's just say i have an ar right i have an ar and i'm gonna slide over to there i would get about this far now i'm gonna try to get like this far using that uh that little speed boost that i would get right so you see it's like using your smallest weapon to boost forward and you also want to time it as soon as your um tax sprint as soon as your gun goes up in the air that is the best time to slide so instead of sliding like right here Instead of doing that, I would rather slide as soon as my gun goes up in the air. And then if I do that with a pistol instead of a assault rifle, it's a lot farther like that, alright? And then if I'm doing it around the map, so it's just... You see, so this is how like the movement boost kind of works, and then you run out of attack sprint, gotta get it back. Boost like this. And that's how you kind of movement boost in this game um and now for those who still don't understand like how this works um or they don't understand like the right form this is an example of something that is bad like this is not a movement boost i'm going like this slide over here go over here slide or let's just say i'm swapping weapons this is something that won't work um even though you're doing like you're pressing the same buttons and everything like that the reason why I did it so much worse there, but then if I like do it a lot better like this, and I'm able to boost more, is like I said, you want to have two of these key point, uh, two of these key things in mind to do it right. One, you want to time your slide as soon as you go to the top of your tax sprint, all right, and then you want to have your fastest weapon out at the same time, all right. So fastest weapon out, pistol. As soon as my thing goes up in the air, slide and then swap weapons on top of that didn't want a mantle but dang why don't i answer all right so i'm gonna do it again and that's how i would do it right there instead of just sliding into a corner or Maybe timing it wrong. I'll get a better boost doing it like this. All right. So, uh, um, I guess before like I I end this portion too, I do want to say also you can use this for two things. All right, you can use it when attacking people. So here I'm using it to get into cover, so I can boost farther into cover. And this is really good for um, if I'm an enemy and I'm aiming at you know where you would be then I would have a harder time shooting at you because not only are you in a head glitch, but you're also moving left and right really fast, making it harder for me to hit my shots. Um, or if you want to use it to like break someone's camera, boom. You can use it like that. All right, so boom. And then if you have like a knife and then like a submachine gun, which I do sometimes, have my knife out, could boost around them, could shoot them like that. Um, and you can also use it around the map. So if I'm running around the map, or even in Warzone when you want to get like a lot of ground to cover, right? So you're just movement boosting across the map. Missed that right there. Get my tax room back.
And that's how you like movement boost like that, alright? Sometimes it does get like a little bit uh, tricky to get used to, but once you get used to it, you'll kind of get the feel of like how you're supposed to be doing it right, and you'll be able to build like your momentum a lot easier, and you'll be able to speed around the map. Can't stand you. Now, on top of that, I'm going really fast off of, you know, only playing on two sensitivity. But that was like the movement boost or speed boost. I use them interchangeably, just whatever I feel like calling it, but how you do it in this game. It does get your movement speed a little bit faster and helps you get a lot easier kills and dodge more bullets in Modern Warfare 3. Also, I am live every single day on Kick. This is pretty much where I get my gameplay for my videos. So if you want to see me live and just chat with me right there, then you can search up 5seal on kick.com slash 5seal. And you can join the community discord uh, for any of my coaching services if you guys want to get coached in Warzone or if you just want to chat with the community and have any updates that I'm currently doing. Um, as far as when I go live and other things like that. Uh, so yeah, get connected with the community Discord. Fresh map! 